Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another episode of WordPress in Motion. In this episode of WordPress in Motion, we're going to go over the changes in the menu tab of the customizer for the new WordPress 4.3 that's due to be released soon. Now the customizer is a section that allows you to make changes to your theme. All the functions in the customizer are found in other places of the WordPress dashboard, but the customizer groups many of them together so you don't have to keep bouncing around the dashboard. So to get to the customizer, you first have to log into the WordPress admin dashboard like I've done here. Next, click on the Appearance tab from the left-hand sidebar menu. And then click on Customize to open up the customizer. Okay, you can see on the right-hand side is a preview of your website. And the left-hand side has all the list of tabs. Now the one we're going to focus on in this video is the Menus tab. This was named Navigation in the previous version, so go ahead and click on the Menus tab to open it. All right. Now this first area here is the new addition. Uh, you have the ability to either modify existing menus or create a new one without having to go to the menus area of the dashboard. So to create a new menu, click on add a menu. All right, and give it a name. We'll name it test. All right, and now you have the ability to add items to it. So click on add items. I'm going to add a couple of pages here. So add the home and sample page. All right. Now before I'm done with it, I have to reorder them or order them at all. So I click reorder. Now I can move them based on up and down arrows. Just give those a click and I can set the order they're going to display. Or if I want to use the side arrows to nest them, I can nest and unnest them if I like. Once I'm happy with that, I click done. You can click delete menu if you don't need it anymore. All right, the next thing you can do is set the menu location. So I can set this for a primary menu here or the social links menu. Primary menu is standard but you may have other options depending on your theme. In this case, I have a social links menu for the 2015 theme. All right, you can also set whether to have new top level pages automatically added to this menu, so you don't have to do it manually every time if you like. Okay, give that a click, say. Once you're happy with everything here, just click the back arrow here. All right, you can see my menu is now listed. If I add a second menu, it'll be listed under there, a third, and so on, okay. That's the new section. Now the old functionality that you're used to seeing is still here as well. You just click on menu locations, okay, and you're able to set your menus based on what you have in the list, uh, the previous tab there. So just click that. And if you want to watch here, I'll click test, and you can see right here my test menu shows up in my preview. If I had more menus, I could select the different ones and just see which one I like better. All right. So let's go ahead and check that test again. You can see how it pops up. And once you're happy with everything, just click Save and Publish. Thanks for joining us for another episode of WordPress in Motion. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below so we know what to bring you in future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.